Hey everyone, welcome to yet another exciting video from Simply Learn. We are surrounded by so many AI tools out there. What if I told you that there is a tool that works like ChatGPT and Google search engine at the same time and with even cooler features? That is Perplexity AI for you. It's a search engine like no other, helping you get quick and accurate answers to your questions. And the best part, we'll be using the free version so you can follow along without spending any money. Let's dive right in. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before that, if you are interested in building a career in AI and ML, do check out the professional certificate course in generative AI and machine learning from Simply Learn. Learn through live virtual sessions from industry experts and master classes by IIT Kanpur faculty. Dive into the latest AI advancements, including generative AI, LLMs, and prompt engineering. Gain hands-on experience with 25 plus projects and three capstone projects using tools like ChatGPT, DALI2, TensorFlow, and Keras. Receive a certificate from IIT Kanpur and leverage Simply Learn's job assets to connect with top hiring companies. Earn official Microsoft Azure AI fundamental trophies and badges on the Microsoft Learn portal. Advance your career and master AI with this comprehensive program. Find the course link in the description box and pinned comments. So without any further ado, let's get started. So Perplexity AI is basically a super smart search engine. It uses advanced AI to not only find information for you, but also understand the context and give detailed, reliable answers. It's like having a personal research assistant right on your screen. So first things first, let's get signed up. If you don't have an account yet, click on sign up and enter your details. It's really quick. Once you're signed up, just log in with new credentials. So now let's explore what Perplexity AI can do. So this is the main interface. It's super clean and simple. And right here is the search bar. So let's ask a question like, what is artificial intelligence? What is, see, as you can see, there appears suggestions for your similar searches, right? Just like how it appears on Google. So let's just type it and enter. Yeah. As you can see, Perplexity AI quickly pulls up a detailed answer with in-depth information. So plus it lists all the sources it used for the same. So these are the sources, you can find them. So you know exactly where the information is coming from and check if the sources can be trusted. So this is perfect for getting a quick overview and then dive in deeper if you need more details. So like if you just click the sources, you can just check if the sources are reliable or not. Okay. Another awesome feature is the follow-up suggestions, which you can find at the bottom of the page. So these are related questions that help you explore the topic further. Now, another option is you also have an option to create images and videos for the same. So if you, uh, you know, check the right side of the page, you can actually find related images for the topic. So if you need it for your work, you can actually take from this and also you can search videos also. So they will give you related videos from YouTube and some other sources. Now there is also an option to generate an image, but then this is only available for pro users. So you can actually, you know, give a description and generate the image, but this is not available for free users. Now another interesting feature is the search focus. Now search focus is great as in you can narrow down the sources that you would like to take references from. Like for example, there are options like whether you want to, you know, search all over the internet or you want to refer only academic papers, etc. So this immensely helps in eliminating unreliable sources. Now next we have a pro search option here. So in pro search and perplexity, I make searching better by offering advanced features like it gives better answers and more customized options. So it gives you access to more high quality sources like ensuring the information you get is accurate and up to date. So in pro search, you can explore complex questions in more details like coding questions, etc. And you can get more insights and make your research process faster and reliable. So it's a great tool for professional researchers and anyone who needs greater details. So you just have to keep in mind that the pro search can only be used for five 
five times in a span of four hours for free users. But for unlimited pro searches, you can purchase the updated version of the Perplexity AI. Now let's see what collections are. So let's see you are doing a research project. So as you explore and find detailed answers on different aspects, so you can save each of these answers as a collection. Like, you know, you'll be uh, giving different questions, you'll be asking different questions of the same topic. So you can save all those uh, answers as a single collection. So to create a collection, you'll see an option to add. There is a plus sign. So an option to add to an existing collection or create a new one. So here I'm creating a new collection called AI creating a new collection called AI. So I'll give, I have given the title as AI. You can also add an emoji if needed. Also, you can give a prompt if you want your answers in a specific template. So here you have a prompt options. So for example, if you want the write-up in points, with each pointing, citing an example, you can give that prompt like write answers in points, citing relevant examples. So now this particular answer or this particular article is under the AI collection. So now whenever you find more answers related to AI, just you can add them to this collection. So it keeps everything organized in one place, making it easy to review all your information. Now next, we'll just check out the discover section. So here you have the discover section. So this is basically where you can find trending topics and popular questions that other users are exploring. So it's a great way to stay updated on what's happening in various fields. And you can take ideas from these also. Now let's check out what library is. So the library is your personal storage for all the answers and reports you have saved. So it's neatly organized so you can easily find what you're looking for. So whether it's for a school project, work or personal interest, having a library of saved information is incredibly useful. Now another exciting feature is you can actually summarize charts, graphs and PDFs. So let's see how. So let's form a new thread. So here there's actually an upload option where you can attach images but this is actually only possible for paid users. Okay, so here you have an option to attach or upload the images, but you can upload the images only if you have an updated version. So if you're having the free version, what you can do is you can copy the image address and paste it. Okay, like for example, let's just search uh, global crime rate graph. Let's take this graph. We can copy image address. Just check if the image address is right. Yeah, copy the image address, paste it over here. And after that, you can formulate a precise question about the graphs, data, or trends that you want to summarize. Like for example, you can give what are the main trends shown in the graph or can you summarize the key insights from this data? We'll just ask them to, can you summarize the key insights? from this data and hit enter. So Perplexity AI will analyze the graph and generates a summary based on data trends and patterns it identifies. So if needed, you can, they will also ask question like, you know, exactly what you are looking for. So we can give like, you know, crime dates by country. They have actually given the suggestions also. So we'll give the same like country with the highest crime rate. Country with the highest crime rate. Now it will analyze the graph and give us the answer. See, Venezuela has the highest crime rate. Venezuela has the highest crime rate. So this is how it can analyze the graphs, charts, and also you can upload it in PDF format also. Okay. So now you can save the summarized insights for future reference. And also you can share with colleagues. Now here we have a share option. So you can actually share with colleagues and other stakeholders if needed. So these are some of the awesome features that you can do in the free version. Now the upgraded version of Perplexity AI is packed with tons of great features. Like with this upgrade, you can do unlimited quick searches and up to 600 pro searches each day, which is awesome for heavy research. Now you can also choose your favorite AI model, whether it's GPT-40, Cloud3 or Sonar Large. So giving you more flexibility. Now if you need to upload images and files, you can go ahead as there are no limits in upgraded version. Plus you can also visualize up to 50 answers a day using cool tools like Playground AI, DALI, and SDXL. So it's like having a supercharged research assistant right at your fingertips. And there you have it. That's how you use Perplexity AI with the free version. From asking questions and exploring sources to saving and sharing answers, and even personalizing your experience, Perplexity AI is an incredibly powerful tool. I hope you found this demo helpful and easy to follow. 
If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more such tech tutorials and let me know in the comments what you plan to explore with Perplexity AI. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.